Okay, that's me. So, what I want to show you today is uh, just a um, basic setup, basic technique to create synthetic sounds. So, what I've uh, configured here is just uh, a very, very simple uh, experiment to show you how to produce uh, synthetic sounds. So, um, in the first part, I showed you uh, an, an electronic device using some transistors and uh, resistors and so on uh, to create uh, a sound. And um, this here is just a much more complex uh, configuration. So, we have here a function generator which is able to create sinus, rectangle, or triangle functions uh, with a different frequency. And then I have uh, a simple amplification unit here, that's this one. It's just required uh, to uh, have a valid sound at the recording device. And um, then uh, an oscilloscope, it's a very old uh, Russian device, so however it works. So um, I record all of this mm, using this uh, Tascam Digital Pocket Studio. Uh, this works in my opinion very well. So what I do now is just uh, to um, add the sound signal to the recording. So, that's a noise we listen by the signal here. Decrease the light so you can see the signal. So, that's a rectangle signal with a frequency below 1000 Hz. Um, with a sweep generator, I can change the frequency dynamically. So if we have uh, a very slow frequency, then we have a very deep sound, and if we have a high frequency, then we have a high sound. Well, that's what everybody would expect. So, if I change uh, the, the curve from rectangle to triangle, then we have with the same frequency a completely different sound. It's just the same frequency but different sound. If I change to the sinus curve then we also have a different sound um, but since the signal is just identical to the triangle with this frequency so um, it sounds not that loud but like the triangle. So, the sinus signal gives us a, well, much better, I make it louder now, a much better and not that aggressive sound. So, um, that's uh, well a sy synthetic sound. Um, rectangle same frequency with triangle same frequency. It looks this way. So um, that's a base for synthesizers. The base technology for synthesizers um, today. more efficient to create such sounds, but, well, I want to show you just such clear signals um, and how to record them to give you an idea about where the electronic music come from. So, this setup is something that was proper in the 70s, uh, 1970, so I've seen this uh, set up in 1975 or 7 uh, in the University of Berlin. So I was a child and I walked through the university and listened um, to one prof who showed XLR. 
exactly this configuration. So uh, for me, this was very interesting. I was 12 years old, and um, I thought, well, this will become our future. And <laughs> today, we are just far behind this. However, um, that's the base. So synthesizers in the 17th uh, were just a bunch of such function generators, which are uh, coupled uh, by cables. I had a cork uh, in the late 70s. Um, it was not mine, but from a friend, uh, but I used it. And um, it, it took a lot of time to create interesting sounds. So today we have just pre-configured sounds. We can choose a sound from a menu and then we listen to an organ or to a harp or to an electronic guitar or whatever, but this was in the past much more difficult. Um, so what we what I also have prepared is just to make my voice visible, so to show you that everything is just, um, well, waves. So here you see my voice. Uh, That's it. So you see that, well, noises are more or less complex waves. So not that complex, but more or less. So the job of a sound designer is just to create waves, more or less, by using such function generators. So what I will do in the next video is just to mm, create uh, the song Old MacDonald Has a Farm only using animal voices. And uh, the way I do it is just mm, to record uh, voices of animals by my Tuscum, so I was at the farm and just uh, recorded some voices and then I manipulate uh, these voices to get Old MacDonald has a farm sung by animals. So this will mm, be very interesting for some of you. I hope that there will be a lot of people having a look at this video and um, try to understand the way sounds work. That's it. Bye.